Good morning, A New Day Church and everybody in the world that's watching. We welcome you today. We're so excited. We've got Pastor Mark is going to bring a message today that is going to be on point, always is. So before that, we've got uh, Ryan. He's going to bring us some announcements and he's going to do the offering. So that's exciting. There'll be some videos to get you ready for that. And before all that happens, worship is the first thing we do. And I'm so excited for that. So put your hands up, get ready. Let's go church. and 
wow, well, look at that. That uh, video just explained everything about uh, Giveify and how to use it. So uh, I don't need to. So let's jump right into offering and ties. Um, so I just want to kind of remind everyone about um, what ties and offerings do. Um, truthfully, it is just a blessing to our community and to our church. Um, when we give, we give to um, outreaches and to help fund that and uh, just help bless the community, honestly, and bless the people. Um, so I think one kind of example could be that school first kind of school drive we did just recently to uh, help give school supplies to uh, the kids that are getting ready to go back or in school right now. Um, but I think it's just a huge blessing. That's just one kind of recent example that kind of shows you what we do with it. Um, we are able to bless people through those funds that you give in tithes and offerings. And that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to just be a blessing for our community and through missions, whether it's Mexico, India, or more locally, community-wise, all over the place. So uh, that's what it means to give, and uh, we just thank you for your tithes and offerings. Um, dear Lord, I just ask for a blessing on these offerings, Lord, and that you would just um, help these to go far and reach far, Lord, and just bless these people as they give. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for giving. Hey, good morning everyone. You know, with everything that's going on in our world, it's really easy to stall out or to want to take a time out and say, you know, I just want to get off this merry-go-round. Or it's easy to become distracted and want to take a detour, the, the easy way. And uh, so this morning I want to remind you of a habit that is powerful and simple, that will move you forward through this time so that you can be unstoppable. Let's begin by reading Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32 through 34. And there is no greater paragraph of being unstoppable in the Bible. Here's what it says. I want to remind you, and as I read it, pick up this habit that I'm going to be addressing today. I want to remind you of the faith examples of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David, of Samuel, and of all the prophets. I could give an account of people alive with faith, I love that phrase, who conquered kingdoms, brought justice, obtained promises, and closed the mouths of hungry lions. I could tell you how people of faith doused fires, escaped the edge of swords, made the weak strong, and stoking great valor among champions of God. Boy, that just makes me want to go for it, be unstoppable. The point is that faith, the habit of faith, made these people and the Bible stories they enabled these people to move forward. They enabled these people to be unstoppable. What about you today? Huh? Today, I want to move you forward so that you can be unstoppable in your challenges and what you're going through in these times. So this morning, I want to give you three signature moving forward habits of faith. Here they are. Here's the first one. Faith is the habit of sacrifice. Faith is a habit of sacrifice. In Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 4, this is what we read. By faith, Abel presented to God a sacrifice more acceptable than his, brother's Cain, than his brother Cain's. So as you read this story in the first part of Genesis, Cain brought a sacrifice to God and it was based on veggies and fruit. He, he brought uh, something from the soil. Abel's sacrifice is vastly different. He brought an animal and presented it to God. It, it was a life and as you know you have one life and how are you going to live it? Are you going to live it in faith or are you going to live it in any number of ways? Faith is a sacrifice. Your one life. I'm reminded 
of the story, uh, it's in uh, 1519. It's the conquistador, uh, his name was Cortez. And he came to the state of Veracruz in Mexico. And uh, as his people landed, and they were gonna take on this new world, this new place. And here's what he did. He turned to his men and he said, burn the ships. Burn the ships. Why was he saying that? He's saying that, you know, we're in this together, first of all, and secondly, we're not going back. And faith is not going back. Faith is the sacrifice of your one life for God. And it, it's an incredible sacrifice, but when you do it, you cut the ties off from your past and you move forward in such a way, I'm telling you, that you will be unstoppable. There's a great sacrifice in moving forward in faith. When, when you come to a place where you're, you're dealing with unforgiveness and you need to forgive, it's a sacrifice of yourself, of your one life. If you're afraid, well, it's a sacrifice of trust and, and uh, you're, you're putting it on the line to trust God through the fear. If uh, you're dealing with financial uh, uh, constraints and needs and, you, you know, provision is paramount for you, come on. Are you going to trust God? Burn the ships. Move forward. Be unstoppable. If you're dealing with a health crisis, relational crisis, how do you move forward? Well, you pick up that faith. And you, you go forward. You pick up the Word of God, the promises of God, and just like these people of old, you move forward and you be a champion, a champion of God, moving forward in faith. Here's a second habit of faith, and that is faith is the habit of pleasing God. Put a smile on your face. Man, when you please God, not only does God smile, it puts a smile on you. Let me, let me give you a recent uh, story here. Back in May, my uh, wife, Carmen, uh, she had this nudge from the Holy Spirit. Write your dad a Father's Day letter. You know, the first she began to think about that, well, it's not Father's Day, it's, it's in May. The Holy Spirit just kept prompting her, write a letter, write a letter. And of course she did, and uh, she wrote a beautiful letter. And, and so we delivered it uh, to her dad, and, and he was able to read it. And, we have a video of that. We watched that. Uh, Karma's dad recently passed away last month. And what? how timely. The Holy Spirit knew what was ahead, just like the Holy Spirit knows what's ahead for you. Let me read this uh, uh, scripture out of uh, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. It says, By faith it was Enoch who was carried up to heaven so that he did not see death because it was said of him that he had pleased God. So we're talking about the habit of faith that pleases God. And so as, as Carmen wrote that, she, she wrote it to her dad, but she wrote it pleasing her heavenly father. And as her and I watched that video yesterday, this is what Carmen said. She says, I'm so glad I obeyed that prompting of God. And when I watched that video, she said, it, it actually unburdened my heart. And I, I began to smile and I began to laugh and I was filled with joy. I'm thinking of no greater powerful habit than pleasing God. You wanna move forward, you wanna move forward in strength, you wanna move forward in joy, please God. God's not after your perfection, he's after the practice of living to please God. You know, I, I can imagine all of us who live to please God, you know, one day Jesus is gonna say, you know, you've been pleasing me for a long time. Why don't you just come on up and let's do it face to face. And we're gonna be pleasing God for all of eternity. So let's start now. Faith is that habit, pleasing God today, pleasing God now. And uh, it will move you forward. It'll make your life unstoppable. Here's a 
third signature moving forward habit of faith and and that is faith is the habit of building building hebrews chapter 11 obviously we're in that chapter today hebrews chapter 11 verse 7 this is what it says it says by faith noah respected god's warning regarding the flood that was about to come and the likes of which no one had ever seen it's kind of an interesting commentary and he built an ark and according to uh, hebrews chapter 16 and verse 14 he built the ark according to god's plan down to the inch wow What's our takeaway from this story? It's just an incredible story. Uh, first of all, um, Noah was living in unprecedented times. You are also living in unprecedented times. Right now in the Northwest, we're, we're enduring wildfires. Uh, we got COVID-19, we have political unrest and social unrest, uh, uh, economic uncertainties. It goes on and on and on. What are you going to do in those unprecedented times? How are you going to move forward? Are you going to be stopped or are you going to be unstoppable? Well, in reverent fear and honor, Noah took God at his word. Hey, Noah, this is what I want you to do. I want you to build an ark. That ark is going to provide safety. It's going to provide protection. It's your future. It's going to move you forward through this time. So Noah did. He built according to God's plan. You know, in our world, uh, politics is building something. Politics is building uh, control and power. Facebook is building something, uh, a, a huge social network to connect people uh, or to get your favorite fav favorite uh, picture across, right? Uh, your career, uh, you're, you're trying to build something for your future, some, some foundation, some financial stability. But in the midst of that, where everything is being shaken, come on, build according to the God's plan. Trust God in what he's saying and doing. God is showing us how to build. And it's by faith in him and his promises and his word in his presence. Earlier this year, even before all of this turmoil began, God's word to us was be devoted together. How wonderful that word is. I'm telling you, we have relied upon that. Be devoted to God. No matter what, in all of this crisis, be devoted to God. And then be devoted to one another. We're devoted together. And people need that. And you say, well, we can't meet. We can't connect. Yeah, well, we can. There's always a way. And a New Day Church is doing that. And you're doing that. Praise God. Well, that's building according to God's plan. Uh, His way is always safe. His way is always future-oriented. You know, in all that's going on, the church is shifting. Oh, I don't mean it's... Uh, it's fundamental truths and doctrine. I just mean the way we do church. And you can either resist it, or you can say, hey God, show us how to do this anew. You have an ark. No one had ever built an ark before in Noah's time. It was brand new information. And so Noah had to listen very carefully, and you and I need to listen very carefully. What does this church look like? And, and his church is unstoppable because he is unstoppable. And so, how do we do this? Well, he has a plan. We're going to continue to build according to that plan. You know, in faith, in order for you to move forward and be unstoppable, I want to just encourage you, out of our logo tagline, it says, pursue. Pursue Jesus Christ. Pursue his presence. Pursue daily the fact that he is with you, he is for you, and... Uh, he is in control. The second part of that is hope. Live in hope. I mean, you can live a lot of different ways. I don't want to live up and down. I want to live steadfast. I want to live moving forward. I want to live in hope. 
The third part of that tagline is simply this, inspire. Yeah, be inspired yourself, but inspire others. I mean, look around you. There are people that don't know what to do. They, they, they don't know where to go. They don't know who they are. They don't have a future. We have an inheritance, and it starts right now. So this morning, through the habit of faith, move forward. Be unstoppable. Your name written like what was written, what we read about people like David and Samson, people like Esther. They were unstoppable. They were champions of God. Move forward in faith. Let's pray together, huh? Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you that when we build our lives, our, our marriages, our families, our future on you, your word, and what you're saying in these days, we will move forward because you are unstoppable. Thank you for putting that in us by faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, would you stay with us? Uh, after the announcements, I'm going to introduce some really important people to you, and uh, it'll, it'll encourage you and strengthen you. So hang with us. This is a new day. So glad you're here. God bless you. Hey everyone, let's get ready for some announcements. Um, just jump right in. Um, first off, I just wanna remind everyone to make sure we are making Jesus famous. Let's share, 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 whether that's Instagram, Facebook, email, Twitters, anything like that. Let's make sure that we are just blasting it out there, throwing it out to everyone, making sure that they know who Jesus is and that we can invite them onto what we're doing and kind of share that influence and share that impact into our communities and with our friends and family. Also, Wednesday nights, don't forget to log on to our Wednesday night prayer nights. Super fun, super fast prayer time that we get to share with everyone. We just want to make sure that we can get people on there, invite your friends, invite people, send it out there just so we can get more people involved in that and just make sure we're getting more prayer out to everyone. Next thing, Thursday nights, testimony nights. Let's, everyone, log on to this. This is so cool that we get to see people sharing their testimonies and how God has impacted them and how he's just working in all of our lives. And honestly, we just get to see that impact personally through these different people. So let's make sure that we are checking that out. Share that too. Get that out there so that people can see God's impact and the way he's working in people. So it, all this stuff is super cool, and um, let's just make sure that we're getting it out there so more people can see how good it is and how impactful it is and make a difference in people's lives. Thank you. We'll talk to you later. Hey, thanks for coming back with this announcement. As you know, Carmen and I are going on a sabbatical, and we're starting right now. And I want to introduce to you some really great people that are going to move a New Day Church forward in this uh, next season. So, Pastor Scott, come on in. Pastor Scott is in charge of our uh, preaching team. I bet you're wondering who's gonna be preaching. I am too. <laughs> no, uh, we got some great people uh, ready to, to step up and, and uh, give great words, and uh, I'm pretty excited, and you should be excited too. Cool, thank you. Tony Crane, uh, she's on our admin team. Hey, hi. Um, Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions or you have any needs at all. We'll make sure you get hooked up with the right people that can help you during this time. And we just appreciate everybody having our backs during this whole thing so that we can take care of that. That's good. All right. Tom and Kimmy, our pastoral team. These guys are so stellar. Go for it. Hi, I'm Kim. This is Tom Gurgis. We are in charge of the pastor team. That's right. We're not supposed to say anything funny here, so... So. Okay. Good luck. 
<laughs> you should have just kept rolling. <laughs> All right, and uh, what should we do? Should we do Ted? Come on, Ted, <laughs> You're part of our production team. All right. How we doing? I'm Ted, and I'm, I'm the head of the production team. And if you have any needs or anything in regards to what we're doing with uh, any of the nights of the week, or you want to participate, get a hold of me. Okay, we got something for you. All right. Cool. Carmen, why don't you come on in, and uh, we're going to get sent off in a great way. We're going to have prayer. So come on, guys. We appreciate this. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Father, we just thank you for Pastor Mark and Carmen. We thank you, thank Lord, you. that you have something special for them. Mm -hmm. What's well, the time to get close with you and, and uh, get away with you? Father, we know that you're going to refresh them. We're gonna, you're going to strengthen them. You're going to uh, just bring uh, revitalization in, into them. And uh, you're going to just get closer to them all in all. And, and we just thank you for them. We love them. Mm -hmm. We honor them and we lift them up to you. And uh, we're excited as, as uh, leaders of, of the particular teams just to step forth and, and take charge. And we're excited to have people yeah. working with us yeah. and volunteering. And we just know that you have all of our backs, especially Pastor Mark and Carmen. Amen. We just ask for your hand on them again. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hey, Amen. this is a new day. Devour together. Amen. See you Amen. <laughs> One with God and the Lord Most High. You're here in glory and creation. Now revealed in you are Christ. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name 